So, jokes on these guys. I always make them do the intros. I'm just doing this in short, quick, and easy. And I'm going to talk about every... Oh, my God, no, I'm not, because I'm going to struggle with the rapper. The joke is on me. It's perforated! Come on! Because you put your gloves on. <laughs> Cut. You want to help, Dad? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to Frank Henry for sending this out. We're hitting some 52s, trying a different camera angle here. Please, for the love of God, let's get this thing started before something else goes wrong. There you go. Yeah. Be cool if you did. Yeah, that should not have. Yep. All right, so getting swing. things started with the boys here, doing what Louisville has recommended people do with these U trip bats, which is break them in with some 52s. So we hit a whole bag full of 52s, almost 100 swings we got in on this thing with 52s. We will transition over into the 44s after we get done with our swings here. Just kind of a quick little look at the swings of the 52s. And while we're watching that, uh, let's talk about the ballpark here. We're back in Atkins Park in Columbia, Missouri, 300 feet all the way around. A little bit of a monster in left field. 85, 90 degree day here. No wind or nothing like that for once. This bat is a 27 ounce, features a full ounce of inload. And the inload is pretty hefty in this thing. It does mean business. It's not too heavy, but do understand you're buying a bat with a full ounce of inload when you get one of these things. And as we're finishing our swings up here with the 52 300s, both the game balls and the BP 52 pluses, big thanks to Bob Russell over at Evil Sports for getting us a majority of the softballs you're going to see in the videos. Unfortunately, no Pro M's are available, so the hard stuff will be a mix of the Dudley Thunder Z and Pro M and the Evil Classic M. And there are some 44 400 sprinkled in there as well. And we also have the trusty old BP rocket with us as well. So when we got things started with the 52s, uh, we noticed right away that this thing swung super smooth. All you had to do was get the inload moving and the bat did the rest for you. So we always love to swing the big heavy I inloads that, that pretty much swing themselves once you get them started in the right direction. So that was really cool. And it's always hard to judge a lot of uh, barrel feedback and stuff like that when you're hitting a 52 because the ball is so soft. But once we got started with the hard stuff, we noticed right away that this thing was pretty tight. Yes, we saw the number on the compression tester in the beginning, but Lulas have been known to test pretty high and still hit pretty well. But this thing was going to need some work and it wasn't like the end of the world type of thing. It wasn't absolutely awful. It just wasn't quite up to par for what we had been seeing out of some of the other Louisville stuff and the other 240s. And we know what the Louisville stuff is capable of, right? So we knew we needed to keep hitting on this thing. We've been trying our best to do a little bit more of the full reviews of bats just to try and give a better gauge on things, especially once it breaks in. Because if we had done with this what we had done in years past, we wouldn't be huge fans of this thing at this point. But with these 240s, some of them need to break in. And I think a couple contributing factors to the fact that this one needed to break in is it's Louisville. It's going to test a little bit high, and it's a short barrel, so it's going to be a little less forgiving. This is my first experience with a 12-inch Louisville, and I will say that I didn't hate it. It's super smooth through the zone, super easy to swing, and even being a short barrel sometimes, the barrel can be hard to live on. It wasn't with this thing, so the combination of the big inload and the short barrel made getting it through the zone super easy. But we went out and hit this thing, and Frank knew we were going to be hitting on this day, so he reached out to me after we got done. And, you know, asking what we were thinking. And I told them, like, yo, look, this thing just needs to break in a little bit more. That's all. Um, it's definitely good, but we don't feel like it's up to uh, the top tier stuff yet that we've been swinging this year. And he says, well, you know, the legal stuff is going to test I high. You're right. like, we get that. that ball, you're definitely but right, so. we know what these things are capable of, so we want to keep hitting it. He said, yeah, cool, go ahead. So off camera, we got about 150 swings on it. And I won't say with the kitchen sink, but definitely lots of hard stuff. And then we're going to catch up with it on this day where we're back on a baseball field here with Spencer. This is the gold field at Atkins Park. Pretty much 350 in the gaps in the center field. And 310, 315 down the lines, I want to say. And even when we got our day started here, after the 150 swings, it was definitely feeling better than it was the last time we were here hitting. But we knew it still needed a little bit of work. But I told the boys, like, yo, look, I think this thing's on the verge of getting really, really good. So let's start filming, doing our thing here. And the first time through our rounds here, you can see like it's definitely better than it used to be just based on, you know, what you can kind of see exit speed wise. It's always hard to judge being on two different fields, but Spencer's a lefty and the dude absolutely mashes. So <laughs> we don't want to lose all of our softballs in the pond. So we have to hit on the big field, but we can still definitely see an improvement. 
And right about the end of my second round on this day on this field, I noticed this thing was starting to get pretty good. And then Brian and Spencer swung it some more, and there was no doubt that this thing had completely broken in and did what we suspected that it would is be a Louisville. It's going to be good. It's going to still test high, which is fine. But it's testing high and performing the way we thought it should. If you know BP Hero at all, you know he's a fan of stuff that needs BP. But it's still going to hit well while doing it, so you're not just absolutely miserable while you're hitting BP. This is the prime example of that bat. Now, we do know that Louisville's have had issues in the past with this paint seams and the composite seams and stuff like that. So I'm not going to say make this a BP bat, but this is definitely something that if you break it in the right way, doing what they're saying with the 52s, then there is no reason that this thing shouldn't last quite a while as far as uh, being leery of the seams and stuff like that. Break it in with the 52s to get it started. Then there's going to be plenty of BP, game swings in the future, pass it around to the boys, pass it around to the league. If you're a short rail guy, and especially a Louisville guy, this is going to be a good thing for you if you've been looking for something that is a short barrel option from them. Get the boys together, take some BP, do it the right way, and you're going to have a lot of fun with this bat. It always sucks hitting on this big old field here. Just from a perspective of not exactly knowing distances, I'm not big on doing you know distance claims and putting how far a ball went or doing some kind of celebration on the screen every time a ball goes what we think should be 300 feet. We all know what a home run looks like. We know what a good, well-struck ball looks like. This isn't a tryout video. We're not advertising anything. We're doing bat reviews. And this is the format that has got us this far. So we're going to stick with it. And just a quick look at the compression tester here. After we got done with it on this day, it's down to that 275 mark like we've been looking for. As like I mentioned earlier, it's wide open. It's hitting well. It's gamer status. And as you can see by the boys swinging this thing here, the ball is roaring. So put it on a shirt. A little BP never hurt nobody. Moral of the story with this thing, and you're going to have yourself a nice bat. Big thanks to Frank Henry over at Louisville for reaching out and getting this, this bat so we could check it out for you guys. Really glad to be able to do a full review on this thing to really show what it's capable of. Big thanks to everybody involved in getting this thing broken. This thing is a lot of work to get done sometimes when it comes to trying to do the other reviews and stay caught up on content. Thanks to Dylan, Micaiah, Brian's arm full of biscuits, and Brian, and Spencer, and you guys for checking this stuff out. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the kind of full review format. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you swung one of these, what do you think about it? That's it for this one, though, guys. Thanks for stopping in and checking it out. I'm going to hush up and let you check out the rest of the swings from the boys here. Swing hard in case you hit it. BP Hero, catch you next time. I was coming for you. <laughs> Instead, it's 3.30 into the gap. Big deal. Good finish. Damn, that thing's alive, huh? <laughs> 